Man, oh man, do we have an exciting unboxing video today. What's up guys? Hopefully you all are enjoying your Saturday and uh, I'm super stoked about this. I think this is gonna make for some fantastic videos. So you guys know I love racing games. They've always played a pretty big role in the channel. You know, since we started, uh, right now we're playing like four to seven and stuff. We've got uh, GT Sport coming out here in a couple of days. We've got Need for Speed coming out in November. We've got Forza Horizon 4 coming out next year. I've always loved racing games, and I, I honestly, I kind of want them to become an even bigger part of the channel. You guys know recently I got that full GT Omega racing cockpit set up. I haven't really used that in any videos yet because as soon as I got it and got it set up, I started traveling, and I, I kind of need to get like special camera setups and lighting and stuff to make it look good when I'm on that thing, but I'm planning on it very soon. You guys wait and see. One of the, the biggest pieces that was missing is I didn't have a wheel for the Xbox. We have all these great Xbox racing games like Horizon, like Forza Motorsport, stuff like that, but I couldn't race on the simulator because I had a PS4 and PC wheel. Well, now we've got an Xbox wheel. So it just so happens a couple of weeks ago, I got a random email to my business email and they're like, hey, we're working with Thrustmaster. Do you want to check out this new Xbox wheel that they have coming out? And I'm like, absolutely, I would love to. And then they sent me one. And I had no clue this thing was going to be like the Bugatti of racing wheels. This thing is like tip of the top, creme de la creme. I can't wait, guys. This is the Sparco P310 competition mod. Now what, technically, this is a sponsored video. Hashtag ad, throw it all over the place. These guys did send me this for free. They didn't pay me to make a review or unboxing. They didn't even ask me to make a video. They were just like, do you want to check it out? And then they sent it to me. So they aren't expecting a video by any means, but I do want to let you guys know that they gave me the free product. So technically it is sponsored. But uh, we're going to hop into this thing. I'm so excited, man. This is going to be awesome. And uh, here sometime in the next couple of days, you guys are going to start seeing this thing on the channel. Now, I'm not going to lie, I did already open it up a little bit, so when I first got it, I was so excited, I had to open up the box, and I wanted to check out the actual racing wheel, because that's the big part of this thing. The wheel itself is like a legitimate Sparco racing wheel, that's what makes this one so special. So I had to check it out, I took off like the plastic around it and stuff like that, but then I put it back, because I was like, these guys are probably going to want to see an unboxing, you guys love unboxing. So we're going to go ahead and open this thing up, oh my gosh, okay. So, first of all, over on this side, we've got like the clamps to mount it. We've got different cables and instruction manuals and stuff like that. So that stuff doesn't really matter. Uh, over here is the wheel. Now, first of all, they do have this cool like little sticker sheet where you can set hotkeys to different keys on the wheel to really customize it for yourself. So like turning ABS on and off and traction control off and pit times and stuff like that. So that's, that's kind of cool. We're, we're definitely gonna use that once we figure out exactly what we wanna put where. And then here is the wheel. Now this thing feels so legit, dude. It is, this is the nicest wheel that I've ever held in my entire life. It feels like an actual like racing car steering wheel. It's just been modified to, to fit on this you know Xbox thing. But um, it's wrapped in velvet. It's got the paddle shifters on the back. You guys can see it's got all the buttons. You've also got your customizable buttons in red. And then this thing up here is actually the kind of like D-pad so you can move things around in the menus and stuff. It just looks, it looks so good, dude. It feels so good. You guys can see it's kind of the, the competition style. So it's got the flat top and bottom. It's got the little grooves for you to fit your thumbs in so you can really kind of get in there. Oh, I can't wait. We're gonna be doing some white knuckle racing with this thing for sure. It just feels so legit, dude. Oh, I love it. All right, so that's the wheel. One last look. We're gonna go ahead and set that to the side. Let's take this styrofoam out. And then in here, it actually comes with a turbo. So now there are three turbos in this household. We got two in the GTR and one for our racing wheel. But this is actually the kind of like power brick. So instead of just having a big boring power brick, they turned it into a turbo, which I think is really, really cool. It's even got little mounting kind of like holes and stuff so you can screw it in and, and like actually mount it to something. Cause I mean, who doesn't want like a turbo hanging off the side of their sim rig? So that's pretty cool. We've got that. Here is the main Honestly, I'm kind of new to sim racing, so I don't know all the terminology. I want to say like the housing, like this is the, the main thing that has like the belts inside that give you force feedback and make you feel like you're actually driving a race car. That's the biggest thing is 
you aren't just controlling it with the wheel and it's just like that's uh, an extension of your controller. It actually gives you feedbacks. Like when you go over bumps, it rumbles. And when you, you know, or you're dealing with like oversteer or understeer, it actually acts like a real race car. It's really, really cool. But um, yeah, so this is the housing. It's got kind of like a, a quick disconnect type deal. So if I didn't want to use a sparkle wheel, I wanted to get a different one. Say I wanted to get like an F1 style one if I was going to be doing F1 racing. I could, and I could just mount it on this, which is kind of nice. You guys can see it's got like the Xbox buttons and all kinds of stuff. Really, really cool. Very heavy. Candy apple red. Oh my goodness, dude. This thing is legit. So that is the housing. And then finally, that's a horrible noise. I'm sorry. Whew, packed in there tight. Finally, last but not least, we've got our pedals. So these are the Thrustmaster pedals. I think the only thing that I would change about these is that they're plastic. So they have like a, a metal facing on the front, but on the back, the actual pedals themselves are plastic. So, I mean, for a pretty serious setup, I feel like that is one thing that's missing, but it's still absolutely gonna get the job done. I'm not too worried about it. They look really nice. You guys can see gas, brake, clutch. We've got everything. This is really exciting, man. I can't wait. I can't wait to get this thing set up because Finally, we have something for Xbox, and finally, we can start hopping on Forza. Motorsport 7, Horizon 3 is gonna be making a comeback when we can drive with a sparkle wheel. Dude, this, this is gonna be so much fun. I absolutely cannot wait. So I, I wanna share this with you guys. Just know, sometime in the next couple of days, we are going to be setting this up, and we are gonna be starting to use this in our racing series. Uh, I would say, you know, probably three to four days from now, something like that, because actually, I think, uh, what's it, it's uh, South Park, the Fracture of a Hole is going to be coming out soon, so we're going to be uploading a lot of that right when it first comes out. And then soon after that, we're going to get to using this thing. So I'm going to take this in the office. I'm going to mount it on my setup. It's going to be long. It's going to be boring. I'm not going to include that for you guys. I just wanted to show you guys this beautiful setup that they sent me. Thank you to Thrustmaster. That's really, really cool. I know I didn't have to make a video, but I just wanted to highlight this for you guys because this stuff is absolutely beautiful. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace out.